We have messages. Our first one's gonna be from Christian Horner. It says, welcome to the team. Hi, Peach, welcome to the team. Between yourself and Max, I'm sure we can have a fantastic season. My door's always open if you need anything. Kindest regards, Christian Horner, team principal. You ask me what I'm doing, no, I'm with the game, bitch. What the fuck you want to think I'm on that lane, shit? Hey man, y'all see what the f*** going on? It's your boy Peach, we back at it. Today we're gonna be playing F123, episode number two. Real quick before we get started with the video, if you guys are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also turn on bell notifications, that way anytime I upload a video, you guys will be notified. To all my returning subscribers, welcome back, so glad to have you guys here. One more thing, if you guys are interested in joining my Discord server, you can find the link down in the description. All you gotta do is click the link, it'll redirect you to Discord, you click join, and you should be in. Everyone's welcome to join, so feel free to do that if you're interested. Other than that, we're gonna jump right into it so sit back relax and enjoy the video so if you guys watched the last episode you'd remember that we were doing a grand prix we ended up doing three different races since the last time i made a video on this game i have been practicing a little bit i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up starting our first career mode so we're gonna click on career that's gonna bring us to this menu where we can either select single player career or two player career since it's just us we're gonna be doing single player career and then it gives you a choice you can choose different career types of either being a driver or my team we're just gonna click driver and it also lets you choose your entry level so you can either skip to F1 or start in F2. We're just going to skip to F1. And then after that, it lets you choose the season type. So you can either do a full season or custom season. We're just going to do a full season. Next, after that, it gives you career settings. You can either use the recommended settings or customize your settings. We're just going to use recommended for right now. We can always go back and change those at any time. So now we're going to start career with selected options. First things first. Let's create your driver. So we will click on driver. It's giving us our default avatar. That's giving us all of our different characters we can choose from. I don't know. I guess we'll just pick this guy. Then country. Since I live in the United States, we'll just pick that name. Peach. That boy. Peach. That boy. Now we can go to our audio name. And it's basically just a nickname that they call you on the radio. So you guys can see there's a giant list of different names we can choose from. I think it's only appropriate if we pick cowboy because why not? You guys can see if you press Y, you can listen to it. Cowboy. Perfect. Next, we have to choose our number that's obviously a no-brainer and now let's focus on your driver's look we can choose our helmets and emotes so it looks like we have six different helmets to choose from in my opinion i like this blue and kind of like weird gray green color we'll pick this one next we have podium emote i think we'll just leave with the default option next we have our victory radio call i think it's only fitting if we choose yeehaw since we are the cowboy <laughs> Perfect. You can select our team now. My favorite team is Oracle Red Bull. All right, so starting off up at the top, we have our overview, facilities, R&D, vehicle, corporate, and standings. Starting with the overview, we have messages. Our first one's gonna be from Christian Horner. It says, welcome to the team. Hi, Peach, welcome to the team. Between yourself and Max, I'm sure we can have a fantastic season. My door's always open if you need anything. Kindest regards, Christian Horner, team principal. Underneath that, we have an email from Olive. It says, facility upgrades. Hey, did you know the better our facilities are, the better our chances for developing a faster car? The team planned throughout the year to invest in different areas of our facilities, and I thought I'd let you know what that will mean for us in terms of R&D. Fabrication. The higher the department's fabrication, the more upgrades you can develop simultaneously. Build time, more investment here means a quicker turn around for more developments quality control with better quality control we will see less chances of developments failing resource point generation investment here we'll see our weekly resource points increased so if we go back to the main screen you guys can see if we press a it'll advance our time it gives us each date of things that we are getting so if we advance the next thing that we get is going to be our weekly resources on the 20th after that's going to be the car reveal beyond that is the weekly resources and then after that's the bahrain grand prix so these are the things that ollie was talking about everything he was saying is on the right hand side and it breaks it down into four different categories so we got aerodynamics chassis durability and powertrain we can use our resources that we get weekly to put towards these this is where the r d is so this is where you guys would upgrade each of those categories you guys can see we have six out of 24 for our powertrain four out of 29 for durability zero out of 23 for chassis and then zero out of 20 for aerodynamics if anything we'll start with aerodynamics so for this it's going to cost us 500 resources we have 1500 up in the top right you guys can see our total resource count so if we click on this, it says it has a 20% failure chance and then standard should be done by 26th of February and then you can also rush it to the 20th of February, but we'll just leave it as a standard. So we got 12 days for that. Next for chassis, we have cockpit weight reduction for 500 as well. Same thing, standard for 26th of February. We'll do the same thing. And then we have 500 more resource points. So we'll do the gearbox improved materials. Once again, same thing, standard for 26th of February. Now that we don't have any more resources left, we'll go back to the overview and we'll hit A to advance time. Here's our car reveal, so we'll press A to start that.
Now we have it up on our screen. We got a new message from Christian Horner. It says, season objectives. We're confident that the car will be competitive from the start of the season, so we expect you to be racing near in the front of the field. Make sure to work hard at car development so we can maintain our advantage of chasing the pack. Christian Horner. All right, so we're going to advance our time. And then our three things that we upgraded were successful, so we got those added to the car. It's come through the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. Here we are, season one, round one, race weekend. We got the Bahrain Grand Prix. We got our new parts fitted. And then we also unlock the next step that we need. So I think we're good with everything. I think we're ready to go to race weekend. Okay, so here we have our workstation. We're gonna press A to go to this. So you guys can see we have go to next session. Underneath that we have practice one, two, and three. To the right of that we have qualifying and then the actual race itself. Up above that on the right, we have the session length, which is gonna be very short and practice format is full and then qualifying format is one shot. I'm gonna try my best to keep this like the real races. We'll go through each practice session, trying out different strategies and different things, seeing what we can do to improve certain areas and all that. And then eventually we'll make it to the qualifying and then we'll be ready for the race. Thankfully, this race is only five laps. It is a Grand Prix, so it's not like an actual race where it'd be 40 to, you know, 60 something laps or whatever, so. So I think we're good with everything, so we'll head to practice one. Hello and welcome back finally to the hustle and bustle of Formula One. The F1 2023 World Championship is about to get underway. We cannot wait to get started. Last season saw the biggest raft of regulation changes in years and we're excited to see more of that wheel to wheel racing. The big question is though, can anyone challenge the dominance of Max Verstappen and Red Bull? Well, all the teams have been working so hard to get ahead in the development race, looking not only at their own car, but those of their competitors. Thousands of engineers working hard back at the factory. We come to the racetrack and we focus on the 20 drivers at the pinnacle of motorsport. But it's important to remember this is very much a team game. And watching that technical battle unfold throughout the year will be fascinating as everyone looks to get to grips with these new regulations. Meanwhile, the F1 World Tour features all the classic highlights. Monaco, Silverstone, Singapore. Great to see all those iconic tracks back, but also a few surprises. Qatar is back after a year away and the inaugural Las Vegas Grand Prix. The glitz and glamour of Vegas flat out down the world famous strip. I know all the drivers have been so excited about this one ever since it was announced. Okay, that is enough from me. Let's get cracking with the action. So here we are in the cockpit of the car in the garage at Bahrain for our first race of our career. So if we press X, we can look at our session info up at the top. It gives us all kinds of different options. We have all the different tires we can use. It gives us best lap times and all that once the drivers get going. This is our character right here. Shows us our position. So you guys can see in the bottom right, our timer is currently going down. It gives you 30 minutes for the first practice session. You can see the second one and the third one are the same thing as well. I think for right now, what we're going to do, we're just going to go out to the track. So if we do that, it's going to give us the option of trying the practice programs coming in in a flying lap or just drive straight out we're just gonna drive out right away get a good feel for it So I'm also going to be trying to use this higher camera angle, so we're going to take it easy. Like I said, this is just our first practice run. Get our tires warmed up, find the best routes that we can take, work on our times, all that good stuff. And thankfully I have raced this track a couple times. I am pretty familiar with it. I won't need too much practice. If you guys did watch the first episode, you can remember that I had the full track line on. I turned it down to just the corners now. I'm still trying to work on getting to where I don't need any more assists. It honestly is really hard if you turn them off. I have tried it and I am not ready for that quite yet. We're still working our way to that point until then we're just going to do a little bit each episode until we get to that point whenever that's going to be is beyond me we're just going to keep practicing and try our best Alright, there's 
five laps. We are good to retire from the session. So we're back at our workstation. So we will go to practice two. So now it's given us the option. We can either go to the track like we have been doing, or we can go to quick practice. It'll help us with each division for our programs. So for practice two, we'll focus on this. So the first one we'll click is race strategy. So it gives us different options. We have different success rates. You guys can see the different things it lists. So we have a 70% chance for the weight reduction. So we'll try that. You guys can see it brings our timer down. We are good on that. We will advance. Next, engine power, same thing. We'll give that a shot. We got that, no problem. We have a 25% success of doing the rear down for us. So we'll give it a shot just because. And we actually got it, so that was pretty great. We have time to try one more, another 25% success rate. And we got it that time too. All right, cool. So we're only down to two minutes, about 25 seconds. So we'll go back. We'll just end the session because we can't really do anything else. Once again, back at our workstation, we're going to be going to practice three. I'm going to actually go to the track this time. I want to get a couple more laps in just before we start qualifying. Qualifying. We're going to press A to go to track, and then this time we're going to start off with the flying lap, just so we can jump into it right off the bat. Here we go. Okay, just want to remind you to keep an eye on your tire temperatures, which you can do on the temperature panel of the MFD. You monitor carcass temperature and surface temperature, and you'll get the best performance when they're both inside a normal operating window. Surface temps tend to fluctuate faster, so try a few laps with the data open and get a feel for how to control them. set the fastest lap i think we're good to retire from this session okay guys so we've done all three of our practices you guys can see they all have green check marks next we have qualifying so this is our one shot one lap that we got to run as best as we can hopefully get the best time whatever time we get will dictate where we start off for the final race i'm gonna go ahead and hit a to advance on that and we're doing qualifying at nighttime unfortunately i did skip the nighttime to use up some of the resources for the programs it's all right i think we'll be okay it's the same track it's just at night time so it shouldn't be too bad Honestly, that was not too bad of a run. Hey, that was a pretty solid run. The end, I got a little squirrely there, but managed to reel it in. Damn, three whole seconds. Dude, that's crazy. We have green check marks across the board. All we got to do is finish off the race. We have five laps that we got to complete. We are starting off in pole position. No more testing, no more practice. This is the real deal, and it's make or break here at round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. There's no shortage of passing opportunities around the 3.36 miles of the Bahrain International Circuit, with the best, of course, at turn one, and then another soon after into turn four. 15 corners here, six to the left and nine to the right, and we could see one or two flat spots into that tight left-hander of turn 10. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Cowboy lines up on pole position, and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Hamilton, Verstappen, Russell, Fernando Alonso, Norris, 
Oscar Piastri, Gasly, Albon, Stroll, Ocon, Magnussen, Bottas, Hulkenberg, Sonoda, Joe, Ricardo, and Logan Sargent. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. Anthony Davidson is with me today as once again we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. And they've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty we surprises. We so locked in and focused. We're going to hit A, start the race.
final lap of the race, final lap. Okay, push, push, gap to the car behind, 10.0 seconds. My fastest lap the whole race. Let's go. There's our first race of our career mode completed, and we ended it with first place. Get our nice little podium celebration in. There we go, adding 26 points to us. Here we are back at our headquarters. You guys can see at the bottom of our list, we have a Pirelli hot lap, and then we also have the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. We'll be saving that for the next episode. However, that is going to bring us to an end of the second episode of F123. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Also, leave a comment down below. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that. Last thing, if you are interested in joining my Discord, make sure you hit the description of the video for the link to that. Like I said before, everyone's welcome to join the server. If you're interested in that, feel free to do so. Other than that, I think that's going to do it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what is up with these people sliding? Damn, that dude's pissed. He's so mad he can't even walk, he just has to slide. And apparently he can't make it around the fence. You okay, my guy? You having a mental breakdown? Man, standing out there by the fence talking about, Oh, can I get a refund? Looking at... Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. This is actually insane. I cannot believe we were playing Nocturne Toten on a literal web browser page. This is actually nuts. And the map, it looks good, too. The movement, it's pretty smooth. It's kind of a little buggy here and there, but I mean, what do you expect? It's literally from a web browser. Like, come on now. Hey, Zach, go down to that hole. Yeah, go down to that <laughs> hole. That's promising. I ain't going down shit. Come on, bro. We'll take a dirt nap. <laughs> you tripping, folks? Where is this shit at? Oh, oh my god. Go Don't go in the cave. Finally, someone agrees with Don't me. What's going on in the cave? cave? Don't go in the cave. Go in the cave if you want to die. That's all I got to say. What? No, no. Bruh. What? They literally folded my shit, bruh. Come on.